Why on earth is this swinging? <laughs> it should not be swinging. That raven is making a big fuss. Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. What is it, Raven? You want me to follow you? Oh, the ambience changed in the middle of the day. <laughs> Direct sunlight. Not even the airy sunlight. Feels like the Grim Reaper indeed. Oh. Yeah, you obviously want me to follow you, little one. Dress? It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. Ah. Oh. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. Did mother have something to do with this? We started to suspect that mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Uh -huh. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed. And I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me. I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Well, yes. And she even said, what did you do? She knew. She knew that Martha was dead before even taking a good look. <laughs> oh, mother. <laughs> It always, I always was suspicious about that fact. Why? When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. We all need a break sometime. Piano. Lovely. Julia? Is that you? Oh, flashback. No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. What? You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough! You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic! They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. I am confused now. What is it with this mother? She is one of those monsters in my head. But maybe Julia does have a condition as well. Her I'm words not... were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy. And then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. 
I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. <laughs> yeah. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. <laughs> she just. didn't want to hurt you. She did. <laughs> Maybe not kill me, but she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I hope that I'm not going to share the same faith. Some damage has already been done. But the Grim Reaper did mention that both would suffer the same fate, didn't he? I hope that was just in my mind. But it was also Graves. I also did notice that the swing up there was... Um, Going. I wanted to take a photo of that. But I wanted to see where the raven went first. That seemed to have triggered our set of events. So I suppose this could have been some sort of graveyard. That's very misty indeed. Could have been something like this. I mean, all graves look sort of primitive though. But it must be an old grave, that we know. This looks like it could be quite old. I mean, his grave might not even be a grave, right? Since it's so long ago. But let's take a photo of all the graves anyway, just in case. The lover. Maybe all the way up there? No, that is... Lapo, isn't it? Let's go check it out. Like, I'm, I'm probably way off here, but Julia was very fearless as a child, didn't care much, didn't have room for any fear at all. I mean, I know there are some conditions that has this as a symptom. Of course, it's a very weak symptom to go by, but still, I mean, considering the other things... The hallucinations she keeps seeing. Traumatized, yes, but... Still. Okay, this way here. I went up to this little view there instead. <laughs> I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but ah. what else can I do? I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. Well, let's have a look then. Let's capture all of these graves. Even one possibly unmarked one over here to the to the right. All right. Let's take a look then. Mm -hmm. 
the yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. The green filter, useful for landscapes. <laughs> my, my father keeps putting them there. Now, first this one, this single grave. I want to see what's there. Album. It's sort of a long shot that this might capture ghosts, but but oh well. <laughs> and then oh oh oh! I already see someone there. I already see someone there. <laughs> I don't even need to develop this to see. Let's see if we can make this picture any creepier. <laughs> it's very dark. <laughs> There's the grave I've been searching for, and the spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Looks like he's crying. Poor fella. So what did I need? I needed something from that grave. Okay, I have my tarot cards. Now, as I was reloading the game earlier, the swing was swinging. I was contemplating taking in, taking a picture of it, but I wanted to check out what that raven wanted first, and that triggered some cutscene. And now it's not swinging anymore. There was no wind or anything. A little girl swinging, perhaps? Perhaps Martha visiting? I'm gonna take a closer look on you to see if that happens again. Interesting. Could have been Martha saying hello before being put at rest into the ground. Well, now it's the white lady. What? What happened here? Can I go in here? Why has this been... S is this normal? Intestines just laying there? Maybe it's normal, maybe that's how they killed him off, but both at the same time? And there's a note over there? Can I read that note? I could take a picture of it and... <laughs> Let's see. Let's check that out a little later. Maybe I'll see the Grim Reaper here. Kettle over here as well, dead. Oh, I can enter here. No, the fence has been destroyed. Ooh. Savagely killed. Oh, the chickens. The intestines cut out of all of them. Why?
I mean, I don't know, wolves or something, but... Do they usually do it like that? Or is there someone here? Nazi fascists at the stake. Ah. I see. Rebellion. Nazi fascists at the stake. What? Who could have done this? What did these poor creatures have to do with anything? Well, they want us to pay. <laughs> it's, it's one way to... I guess... Decide as a revenge on us. At the stake, I suppose, is an old execution method. And also a torture method. It looks like it was slaughtered with a knife. Is someone threatening us? <laughs> well, maybe they're doing unto the animal what they want to do to us. As a warning. Well... Let us head down to the lake, then. <laughs> it sounds like a bad priority, but we need to settle our mind before anything else. If we have an unruly mind, how can we be sure that we perceive the world properly? Half about all others. But let's try to not die. <laughs> I thought I heard like a very eerie breathing, raspy breath. Ah, right, that was this one. Ah, oh, probably looking at me right now. Sorry to disturb your grave, sir. If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me, I have no doubt. I'm missing the element that connects my world to that of the White Lady. Oh, the lake? Of course. Why didn't I think of it sooner? The dress that I threw in the bushes that cursed day. It's been sitting beside the lake for a few days now, in a world that is both mine and hers. And also, a scissors. My mother's tailor scissors. Yeah, on your hair? Come on. Okay. Well, for later then. Guess we needed something like a strain of hair. Oh, it's a very foggy hair. Now that dress. You mentioned you threw it into the bushes somewhere by the lake. What is that over there? It looks like a cave of a sort. There's a tiny, tiny mist ball, like a spirit orb. Does it want me to approach it? This tiny little orb. Without all the necessary elements, there's no point traveling to the island. There it is. Here it is. I hope it works. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Out to the island, ha. Huh? It's not always easy to keep the balance on these small boats. <laughs> That's a cool end, a cool motor. <laughs> I never really 
Driven one of these. I would imagine this would be more like a rowboat, if anything. <laughs> it's a very loud engine. This little boat is Nanny's husband, Pride and Joy. He used to take me fishing in it many years ago. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand why Mother never wanted me and Martha to use it. Maybe she knew about this story about the white lady. And believe in it. Where can I dock? Oh, there's a tiny little pier on the other side here. This tiny island has its own little <laughs> docking place. Now don't do anything stupid. I have a feeling this spot is going to float away if I don't tie it up. But I don't have any option, it seems. Oh. Oh, the ambience tells me that I'm summoning the white lady. There's lights over there now. Were there always lights? I don't remember there being lights. Oh, I hope I'm not forced to hang myself here like before. This is the before. tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. What's that? Oh. Film. A roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. With a mm. bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. I don't think it was mother, but it, but she probably was in charge of it. <laughs> I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Oh, <sighs> uh, okay, yeah, cut it, cut it. I thought maybe she was over me right now. <laughs> like the grudge. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. First time I see someone playing with tarot cards. Interesting concept, which I feel not many know about. Me included. Well, let's see how it works in action then. Oh, don't be pulled into there now. <laughs> you camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. That doesn't sound good. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. I'm awfully sorry, you but... You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. 
like water, like air, a vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. She said she didn't know anything, but, well, she must know something. Let us go with the middle top one. And then another. The middle bottom one, why not? You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. I'm pretty sure she's just me. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. So if any of this is correct, if this is any correct information, then maybe it is this just something within me. She's talking about something within me, but I still think it's just part of my personality. The hero of Bant. Let's be symmetrical. <laughs> the high priestess. The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Mother, I suppose, but son? That looks like the weird lady. <laughs> Symmetrical again. The stars. I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. What? Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Of course, she was killed. After death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. Assuming she wasn't blown up spontaneously, of course she knows if someone was approaching her with a knife or so. Uh, hanged man. Like usually you get some glimpses. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. What I got from that is that nothing is real. Maybe I'm talking to you right now because you are part of my fascination and my childhood and that is why I somehow can talk to you because you're part of my memory. Now the last two. The moon. Is that a Corvus bird in your hands? The devil. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark. That was quite religious. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Oh, someone wants us the necklace back. Ah, oh, and me with it. Or it just wanted to show me. That, okay, I have to breathe. I have to breathe. Up we go. Up, see they see. I am not allowed up. I'm stuck under here. I am sort of the white lady. And this vision. Oh. This is the this is a house. This odd, odd daydream. Is this my house? Well, I'm going towards my faith then. The light. Oh. Puppet. The white lady. I, okay, what? I could have entered the bathtub with the key in my hand. Speaking we with the white lady confused me even more, but at least now I have this key. I, I, I really feel, yes, it could of course be paranormal and all, but I, I just really feel that we have some sort of condition. And maybe that is why mother hates us, because mother doesn't like that we have a condition. And thus always just despised us and was maybe ashamed that she gave birth to a daughter with a condition. And of course, my sister wouldn't mind. My sister would love me. Her playmate, her best friend. But mother. Now, where would this key go to? To my room? To their room? No, no, this wasn't their room. This was another room. I didn't... Yeah, th this led up. Oh, of course. Of course. Martha's little locker. <laughs> Martha's little locker. Reveal your secrets. The secrets that the white lady talked about. How did July we get 16th. it? sixteenth. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I am no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. <laughs> Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. Selective mutism. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. Huh. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. Oh. Farewell, Martha. Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. We were only 15 or 16 years old. And how could There's you hide nothing it? nothing here. How could you hide it from your parents, even? Nor here. In such a plain sight? Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. No, this must be on my mind. We are equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. 
I've basically always spoken and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. We had sex, and I never had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Well, maybe it was Julia. Maybe it was the rage. Maybe she locked it away in her memory. So we are Martha. For the first time we are actually Martha. No. Julia, that will be here. I wrote a card to mother telling her that it was you who is pregnant, not me. And oh. to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Well, that explains some things. How odd though, how very odd. I, I, I still don't think that necessarily Marfa made this recording and wrote, uh, uh, like I think maybe we discovered this and this is just our mind trying to justify that we, well what we did. This is her desk isn't it? On a desk, okay, the shared desk. How can they not wake up from this? Heavy sleepers. You recorder in the dark room. I will go to the lake alone and act as you. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Oh. Unlike you, I oh. remember all of the harm she has done to you and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life, and I will be able to rest in peace, knowing that I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. I will go now. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. Oh, holy shit. Hi, Julia. I was upset. Unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Because now we are Julia again. We are our memory. We are leading up there to the events of the game. Dress missing from my wardrobe. Dress missing from the wardrobe. Huh. Julia. Do I take one of Martha's? No, I, I already put on a... We weren't allowed to pick one. <laughs> Because it's a memory, it's been pre-designed. Predetermined. So now. Martha wasn't there and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. Well, they met at the lake. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed. And I always overslept. Hey, yeah. That's what she said. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha.
It's very misty. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. <laughs> My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. Yes. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. I searched for one of Daddy's pistols to defend myself. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing, even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. I swear that we had all those visions. Visions of the pregnancy earlier on. <laughs> Grotesque. Division crossed the river Pesa on a vast front, and they advanced two kilometers south of Monte Lungo. Meanwhile, the New Zealand units have reinforced their positions that run from San Michel to La Romola. Near La Romola, the Michelangelesque villa of the E family, where General K was staying, was bombed by the artillery. Luckily, the general and his family were not in the house at the time of the attack, and once again, La Romola has been the site of graphic barbarity. A farm was stormed and animals were stolen and killed. Nobody has claimed responsibility for yet another act of senseless vandalism. But at the scene, an anti-German propaganda flyer was found. This is the civilization that our comrades are proposing. What is this for a painting? It looks extremely grotesque. I don't want to look at it. 400 ISO film. It comes into its own shooting clouds and indoors. When it's not too sunny outside, the 200 ISO film works well. Oh. Attack on Hitler. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli in the eastern sector of the battlefront. The troops of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Grev, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. Bombings. Damage caused by the bombings between Florence and Siena continues to increase. After the disaster at Poggibonsi, rubble and power cuts are the order of the day. Attack on Hitler. After an attack carried out by a group of traitors, Hitler's words are, In having escaped, I see a sign of the duty incumbent on me to continue my work. Sabotage of the phone lines in La Romola. Uh, whoops. Telephone cables have been cut, causing danger to general safety. Any damage to the information service facilities is punishable by death. Ah, uh, let's not sabotage too much more then, shall we? Ah, posta. Dear Mrs. Irene K. Following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. What? While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Or maybe even worse, she wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. We'll see about that. Uh, 
oh seven eight two Request information. Hello, we recently requested the admission of Julia Kay to the hospital. I just wanted to know whether it would be possible to cancel the request. I'm sorry, but the request was issued by the municipality where you reside, madam. Any revocation of the request should be passed by them. Only they can decide whether to approve of the cancellation or not. Have you already received the telegram confirming that we have taken charge of the request? Um... That's a lie, why not? No, I haven't received any telegram. Then you must hurry. If you go to the town hall and discuss the issue with them, they can approve the cancellation. Thank you. Goodbye, madam. Town hall. Well, <laughs> they will probably see that I am not mother. Wait, am I still in my mother's clothes? Am I still... If I am still in my mother's clothes, then... Well, no. What am I thinking? The Gothic line. Photograph the map. Ah, oh, yes. That's it. Hopefully the image comes out clearly. Go to the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. 